Yeah. So what is an intraocular len lens? It's an artificial lens implanted in the eye, which replaces the crystalline lens to correct the optical power of the eye following cataract surgery or as a refractive procedure. Primary, what we are doing, what we are going to discuss today is primarily primary implantation, which is the use of intraocular lenses during surgery following cataract extraction. The non-foldable lenses are generally used in SICS due to the large wound. There's no, usually there is not much advantage in SICS for foldable IOLs as the incision is normally more than 5 mm in size. PMMA has excellent biocompatibility, is hydrophobic, can, we can add UV absorbing materials, it has high light transmissibility and is fairly inexpensive. The position of the IOL can be either in the ciliary sulcus, it's a posterior chamber implantation, it can be either in the ciliary sulcus, in the back fixation or scleral fixation. In the back fixation is most commonly done as it is the proper anatomical site, it has a symmetrical loop placement, intraoperative stretching or, tear, or tearing of the zonules is avoided, there is minimal magnification, there is low incidence of lens decentration and dislocation, and it is at a maximal distance from the posterior iris pigment epithelium, iris root and ciliary processes. Loop material alteration is less likely, it's safer for children and young individuals, and there is re reduced PCO. Before inserting the IOL, one should ensure that the incision size equals the optic diameter of the lens to be implanted. The IOL is taken out of the package with full sterile precautions and then washed with balanced salt solution. The IOL should be inserted after fully inflating the capsular bag with viscoelastic. The IOL is held with the lens forceps close to where the loop is attached. Viscoelastic is put on the anterior surface of the IOL and the lower haptic. Then the IOL is guided obliquely such that, excuse me, can you here? Then the IOL is guided obliquely such that the leading haptic goes inside the capsular bag. If the chamber, if the chamber shallows, then some more viscoelastic is injected into the anterior chamber. Asinski or Y hook can be used for dialing the IOL into the capsular bag after positioning these instruments at the junction of the optic and the trailing haptic. So the first haptic goes into the bag and the second haptic is dialed using a Sinsky hook or a, yeah, or using a Sinsky hook, okay. I, you, we need to put in viscoelastic to inflate the black bag properly and then proceed with dialing it with a Sinsky hook. The complications of IOL implantation can be mechanical damage to the IOL, IOL dislocation, bullous keratopathy, posterior capsular rupture, anterior capsular opacification, posterior capsular opacification or the sunset syndrome. Thank you.